And they say, always trying to demean, well, MAGA really uh, represents 48 percent of the Republican Party. No, it represents 96 percent and maybe 100 percent. It is a fact that he's a racist. I wouldn't just say, I think he's a racist. He's a racist by any definition of the term. And, you know, you said you're going to give me some facts about Trump. Let me give you some actual facts about Trump and mental fitness. Let's just talk factually. Donald Trump recently confused uh, Nancy Pelosi with Nikki Haley. Uh, he thought that we're about to enter World War II. We've actually had World War II. If we enter another World War, it'll be World War III. He thinks that you can beat COVID by injecting disinfectant into your veins. The idea that this man should be allowed near a school board is absurd. The idea that he should be allowed near the White House, again, after everything we know about him? Madness. <laughs> Dead. Okay, if you are to engage in a conversation regarding cognitive capabilities of potential presidential candidates, this is how you do it. In the wake of this week's hearing involving special counsel Robert Hur, the American public were given a front row seat to just how blatantly partial this whole investigation was in an effort to smear the current president. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to lie to the FBI? We identified no such evidence. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to destroy classified documents? No. Did you find that President Biden directed his personal assistant to move boxes of documents to hide them from the FBI? No. Did you find that President Biden directed his personal assistant to delete security camera footage after the FBI asked for that footage? No. Did you find that President Biden showed a classified map related to an ongoing military operation to a campaign aide who did not have clearance? No. Did you find that President Biden engaged in a conspiracy to obstruct justice? No. Did you find that President Biden engaged in a scheme to conceal? No. Each of the activities I just laid out describe what Donald Trump did in his willful mishandling of classified information and his criminal efforts to deceive the FBI. In contrast, President Biden handed over documents without delay and complied fully with investigators. Mr. Hur, in your report, you write that, quote, according to the indictment, Trump not only refused to return the documents for many months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it, end quote. You also say that if proven, these would be, quote, serious aggravating facts, end quote. Do you still stand by your analysis? I do. Okay. I have a few more questions as well. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden set up a shell company and covertly paid $130,000 in hush money to an adult porn star? No. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to pay $150,000 in hush money to a former Playboy model? No. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden called the Georgia Secretary of State to demand, to demand that he, quote, find 11,780 votes? No. Did you find that President Biden devised a scheme to organize a slate of fake electors to undermine a free and fair election? No. Did you find that leading up to January 6, 2021, President Biden urged his supporters to travel to D.C. and to storm the Capitol? No. Thank you. Each of these activities I laid out describe what Donald Trump did, his efforts to bully election officials, overturn the results of the election, and deceive the American people. That is why Donald Trump has been indicted. Yes, irony had no tears left to weep as the special counsel who lambasted Biden over his memory issues struggled to recall his own words. And I want to give you a chance, since the transcript is out, uh, to correct the record on an important point. Uh, very sadly, uh, your report on page 208 says that Mr. Biden couldn't come up with the date, the year of his son, Beau Biden's death. When in fact, in the transcript, it shows that you asked him the month. And do you know what he said, Mr. Herr? He said, oh God, May 30th. Would you like to correct the record? His memory was pretty firm on the month and the day. Congresswoman, I don't believe that's correct with respect to the transcript, but if you could refer me to a specific page, I'd be happy to look. Uh, <laughs> and my second document to clarify for you, sir, Mr. Herr, uh, from the transcription, uh, page 82, the words are President Biden's. What month did Bo die? Oh God, May 30th. A searing memory, I ask unanimous consent. Without objection. But anyway, the topic of cognitive ability came up on Pierce Morgan's show as he debated Trump versus Biden with former MSNBC host Mehdi Hassan, to which Hassan offered the perfect rebuttal to anyone who dares comment 
on Biden's mental state while ignoring the following. And it is a fact that he's a racist. I wouldn't just say, I think he's a racist. He's a racist by any definition of the term. And, you know, you said you're going to give me some facts about Trump. Let me give you some actual facts about Trump and mental fitness. Let's just talk factually. Donald Trump recently confused uh, Nancy Pelosi with Nikki Haley. Yeah, she gets like nine people and the press never reports the crowds, you know. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, you know, they did you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people, soldiers, National Guard, so whatever they want. They turned it down. They don't want to talk about that. He claimed he ran against Barack Obama in 2016. He ran against Hillary Clinton. Uh, he thought that we're about to enter World War II. We've actually had World War II. If we enter another World War, it'll be World War III. He thinks you can stop a hurricane with a nuclear weapon. He thinks you need ID to buy cereal. Uh, he thinks you can buy Greenland from Denmark. He thinks England and Great Britain are the same thing. He thinks that stealth bombers are literally invisible. He thinks that you can beat COVID by injecting disinfectant into your veins. Right, and then I see the disinfectant infectant where it knocks it out in a minute one minute and is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning because you see it gets on the lungs and it the idea that this man should be allowed near a school board is absurd the idea that he should be allowed near the white house again after everything we know about him Madness. And in so fact, how, I believe so you how? called him mad after January the 6th. And I agreed with that. I was very Morgan, critical. Called him mad on I've January been very 6th. critical of him on many occasions uh, when I felt he deserved it. But I've also tried, to, un I've also tried to understand why so many Americans gravitate towards him. Now, as I've said in previous videos, the media's fascination with Trump versus Biden gaffes only plays into the hands of Trump himself. No matter how blatant his errors are, the MAGA contingent just don't care. They've swallowed the snake oil and proudly tout the trading card that it comes with. But in turn, the majority of Americans are more concerned with policy over who stutters more. As the president said in his State of the Union speech, it's about how old the ideas are, not the person. Trump's ideas are fossils. He wants to drag Americans back decades and takes credit for decisions already made that are doing just that. I did something that nobody thought was possible. I got rid of Roe v. Wade, because for 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. They wanted to get it back, right? You wouldn't be have that, there would be no question. Nobody else was gonna we get that done but that, me. Yeah. And we did it, and we did something that was a miracle. But if one finds himself in a debate concerning this subject, well, this is how you handle it. And not just focusing on the errors that Trump has made, but the comments made with the utmost sincerity. Because it wasn't a mistake when he encouraged Americans to inject bleach. Just as it wasn't a mistake when he claimed that forest fires were because of inefficient landscaping. But with regard to the uh, forest, when trees fall down after a short period of time, about 18 months, they become very dry. They become really like a matchstick. And they get up, you know, there's no more water pouring through. And they become very, very, uh, they just explode. They can explode. Also, leaves. When you have years of leaves, dried leaves on the ground, it just sets it up. It's really a fuel for a fire. So they have to do something about it. They also have to do cuts. I mean, people don't like to do cuts, but they have to do cuts in between. So if you do have a fire and it gets away, you'll have a 50 yard cut in between. So it won't be able to catch to the other side. They don't do that. Uh, if you go to other countries, you go to Austria, you go to Finland, you go to uh, many different countries and they don't have fire. I was talking to a head of a major country and he said, we're a forest nation. We consider ourselves a forest nation. This was in Europe. I said, that's a beautiful term. He said, we have trees that are far more explosive he meant explosive in terms of fire. But we have trees that are far more explosive than they have in California, and we don't have any problem. And it certainly wasn't a mistake when he said there had to be some form of punishment for a woman who gets an abortion. Well, I mean, I think that they've watched now multiple cycles. It really worked for them to be on offense on this issue. I also think right now, Donald Trump is a weird one on abortion because you can't pin him down. Yeah. But I remember when he was campaigning in 2016, he said that if a woman had an abortion, she should be punished in some way, right? And we've now seen 
places like Texas and other with laws that are sort of close to that idea of punishment. But I hear about this basement campaign all the time from 2020 and even from now. We, we don't see Joe Biden and it's shocking that we get all this footage somehow. But he is out there and he's doing meaningful things. He was the United with the United Auto Workers today getting their endorsement. And the president talking about how Donald Trump, when they had a strike in 2019, didn't do anything. Yesterday, he had a rally for reproductive rights in Virginia. It's going to be a crucial issue for us. Monday, the Reproductive Health Care Access Task Force, the U.S. Conference of Mayors last Friday, he went to Raleigh on Thursday to talk about brand, broadband access and to meet with an educator who had his student loans forgiven and the impact it's had with his family. And by the way, they made some very meaningful content um, out of all of that. The man is not hiding and he's doing well and Democrats are happy with their choice. See, it's not just about the gaffes, it's about the intention behind his words. What he really plans on doing, that's what deserves the utmost scrutiny. But its consequences, its impact could be just as devastating. Consider this new reporting from Politico. So right now, the Heritage Foundation's 2025 presidential transition project, a sprawling coalition made up of nearly 100 anti-abortion and conservative groups, is in the process of designing a far-reaching anti-abortion agenda for Trump's second term. So do not let Donald Trump fool you with the so-called moderate talk on abortion, because a second Trump term, regardless of the makeup of the Congress or the courts, would be disastrous for the future of reproductive rights in this country. Come 2025, with the stroke of a pen this fast, the man responsible for the fall of Roe could go even further, gutting what's left of abortion access in the US. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.